Well, as a national team coach, so you naturally have to use a bit different methods because you don't have contact with the players. You are not present with everyday life. The total load of the players is increasing all the time. There's a remarkable change in, in that situation. So the players are pr practicing more and more, playing more and more games. So we have to know that. And we use the hard hard been monitors all the time in the training and also in the games and it's really valuable uh, tool for us for longer tournaments for example last uh, world championships we had seven games in 11 days we have to be careful that they are not overloading them themselves after a long period of games and traveling sometimes it's hard to say stop I just I just go and go and go and then when I'm kind of all hit the wall I just like realize that okay well maybe I should watch this data more. In the practice and games it's so intense so we have to take care of that we have a low intense practice also and we can follow the, the load. They already take responsibility of their training. They monitor themselves a lot. They know the kind of the feedback from the feeling and from the, of course, the data what we what we give. But we have many individuals who are following themselves all the time, like 24/7. You practice a lot. You you need a lot of sleep and stuff like that. So when you know that it's working working it as it should work, so that, that makes it like your days easier. Yes, yeah, so athlete, uh, you really need to trust yourself, but it's really good to have kind of one friend who's helping beside that. Yeah, I think it's good that we have this special data from the physical side, but of course the ice hockey game and all the tournament and matches, they need it much more than just the physical side. It's a mental, it's a skill type, you have to be dynamic, you have to understand the game. So everything combined makes it the best result.